Finding peace where there is no peace. Now, sometimes life can be very hard and you experience trauma in your life and things aren't going as well as you think it is. But on the end of that road, God is telling me that something good will happen to you when you remain faithful. When you remain faithful to God. Now, a Christian must come to God with an open heart. They cannot live like the world and think they'll find peace. You cannot have the peace of God unless you make peace with God. Making peace with God is the most beautiful thing you can ever have because your life begins to have meaning, purpose, and value. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that God can deliver you from your current situation and give you that heavenly peace. Don't give up. I know sometimes life can be challenging. But me as a priest of God is here to pray for you so you can have a better life, a better future, a better position that your life will be elevated to the next level and to the position where God wants you to be. Now, everybody's not perfect. We all make mistakes. Okay, that's part, part of life. And... I want to pray for you right now. Lord Jesus, I ask that you, whoever's going through trouble, trials, situations, I ask that you bless them with a heavenly peace upon their spirits, oh God. Bless them with heavenly peace, oh God. And strengthen them as they go through their current situation, Lord Jesus. Let them know that you are with them, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. So I am, as a priest of God, I'm here for you. I support you. And I'll bless you with God's heavenly blessings. You know, whatever God wants on wants to put on my heart to bless you, that is my job to do. But there are requirements. One must stay away from anything that is evil. Anything that is contrary to the will of God, you must 100% stay away from it because it can highly damage and affect your life when you're with evil. God don't want you to have no fellowship with evil because it will taint your life, it will destroy you and stop God's purpose in your life because you are touching it. You're touching what's that which is not good. And whatever that's not good is not of God. Let's think about it there for a minute. So, like I said, as I end this video, I just hope I inspired you guys. Like and subscribe and support me. I mean, you support my ministry to help better others. For my life is to better others. I'm blessed to bless you, to be a blessing to others. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe, support my ministry, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day, and enjoy your life.